Hello everyone. Welcome to our little program, Agents All Around, in which we will take you to our uni and many must-go places in Bangkok. For the first episode, we are going to introduce you to our university, t h a m a s a t University. We will take you to some places inside the Tha Prachan and Rangsit campuses. If you're ready, let's go. The Tha Prachan campus of t h a m a s a t University was inaugurated on June 27, 1934. The original name of the university, as given by Professor Dr. p r i d i p a n o m y o n g was the University of Moral and Political Sciences. Professor Dr. p a n o m y o n g wished to establish a university to educate the Thai people. About democracy, which had been introduced to the nation for the first time, the building that symbolized the university is the Dome Building. It is the first building of Thammasat University, renovated from four buildings that previously belonged to the military. It was later described as a pencil-shaped building. Now, it represents the noble wisdom of education management. Next place is the Faculty of Liberal Art. The Faculty of Liberal Arts was established in 1961 as the sixth faculty in t h a m a s a t University. The faculty offers programs in humanities and social sciences that not only provide a wide range of knowledge but also communication and critical thinking skills. Another important place in our university is the football field, located between the dome building and the auditorium of t h a m a s a t University. Football field is a place for doing many activities in our university. Now, let's take you to another campus, which is t h a m a s a t University, Rangsit Campus. In 1975, Professor Dr. b u i the rectors of t h a m a s a t University, realized that increasing focus on science and technology would be significant for developing the country. Later. When Professor Kun Ying Nong Yao Chai s e r i became the rector of Thammasat University, she began to set up a new campus in Rangsit in order to expand science and technology degree programs and to relieve the crowded campus at Tha p r a c h a n With a larger area, Rangsit campus is filled with interesting places and facility. The first place is the dome building. Dome buildings have become a symbol of Thammasat University on every campus. The dome building at Rangsit Campus is used as an administrative building. It has a similar design to the one at Tha Prachan. This dome building was designed in a more modern way while keeping the iconic roof pinnacle. Another place is the SC Classroom Building, in which almost every first-year student must attend classes. In front of the building. There is a statue of Professor Dr. b u i who laid the foundations of Rangsit Campus. The SC building has two famous university quotes: t h a m a s a t University, where we learn to love the people, and to serve the people is the aim of our education. Right next to the SC building is the building of the Faculty of Liberal Arts, our faculty. After Rangsit Campus had been set up. The Faculty of Liberal Arts expanded to this campus from t h a p r a c h a n If you are looking for a place to chill with your friends, the lawn in front of the SC3 building, known as People's Park or s e n a m r a s a d o n is perfect. It's one of the most popular recreation areas where students like to relax and chill, especially in the evening. The library at this campus is the b o i Ung Pakon Library. It was built in 2002. There are three floors of service areas, and each floor has different functions. The first floor is used as a study zones and has meeting rooms. Noise is allowed on the first floor. The second floor is a service zone for borrowing and returning books, and has an information counter and a multimedia room. There is also a quiet reading zone and a self-study room. On the third floor, there is a quiet reading zone. Another learning space is k r o m r u n a r a t i w a t r a s h a n a k a r i n Learning Center. It is a co-learning space at t h a m a s a t University, 
where students can study, work, and have group meetings. The learning centers has desks and sofas where students can sit and work comfortably. There are also small group meeting rooms, which are perfect for those who want to have a meeting or work privately. If you are thinking about a large green area in the university, Boy Park is on the list. This park is also a public area or people's garden for the people living around as well. The highlight of this place is the urban rooftop farm, which is Asia's largest green rooftop farm with sustainability as its core design concept. You can see a statue of the two most important people of Tamasat University, Professor Dr. Brady and Professor Dr. Boy, sitting in front of the building. Inside the building provides a public library and co-learning space. Another place is for Thai football fans. If you see the two giant Naga statue, that means you're in front of Tamasad main stadium. This stadium is the Asian Games standard outdoor stadium. It is a multi-purpose stadium with nine running tracks and a capacity seating of 20,000. Nowadays, it is mostly used for football matches. Apart from interesting places, there are facilities provided at the university. There are many canteens and restaurants in Rangsit campus. One of them is the Green Canteens near Dormitory Zone F and M. There are day and night canteen zones. The day canteen zones opens every day from 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. The night canteen zones will open after the day canteen zone closes. Near the green canteens and dormitory zones F and M is mini stadium. This stadium mostly holds small events or football matches. People usually come jogging here in the morning and evening. Apart from the mini stadiums, there are gyms and fitness centers provided for students. For people who love to do multiple sports, Gymnasium 7 is just for you. You will notice that the gym has gravity art and even a tall rock climbing wall. The gymnasium is a place where you can try various sports such as volleyball, basketball, table tennis, football, climbing and more. Students usually get together here to do sports or join sports clubs in the evening. For fitness enthusiasts, there are services such as fitness centers and swimming pools. There are three fitness centers. The other two are in the Asian Games dormitory zone. With a great atmosphere and adequate facility, living on campus is a great choice for students. The dormitory in Rangsit campus is the Asian Games dormitory which offers affordable accommodations. The dormitory zone C and E offer bedroom accommodation for two people. Dormitory zone B offers two bedroom dorms for four people. Dormitory zones F and M for four people to share. The dormitory area is not only surrounded by nature, but is near facilities such as the green canteen, Tilson Dorm Food Center, fitness centers, convenience stores, laundry shops, and many more. Near Dormitory Zone B is Tilson Dome Food Center. It has many kinds of food including Thai, Korean, and Japanese foods. There are drinks and snacks too. The prices of most dishes vary from around 25 baht to 55 baht, which is cheap compared to restaurants outside the university. The food center opens every day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Not only that, near Tilson Dome, there is a kayak rental service. You can paddle in the nearby pond and relax in the beautiful landscape. It's not difficult to get around Rangsit campus despite its large area. There are two recommended ways to travel around. The first way is to use bicycles. Thammasat University Rangsit campus is a great place for cycling. According to the university's sustainable plan, the campus encourages people in the Thammasat University to use bicycle. The campus also provides bike lanes and bike parking lots. Recently, 
the campus also launched a bike sharing service. For those who love to cycle around, you will love this campus. Another way is to take university shuttle buses. Inside Thammasat Rangsit University, there are free shuttle buses which stops around the campus. This makes transportation inside the campus very convenient. There are many more interesting places in Thammasat University that we haven't covered in this video. For those who want to study at Thammasat, the university warmly welcomes you to be a part of a great experience. We hope to see you there. Please don't forget to subscribe to TU English channel. We will have some more content to share soon. So stay tuned.